on YouTube, it's your boy TC back with another video and in today's video we'll be previewing the upcoming game which is the opening game of the season against Leicester City at home at the Emirates Stadium. And the topics I'll be reviewing in today's episode will be um, the previous scores against Leicester, the potential starting eleven the players that are currently injured, as well as Arsenal's opening day results in the past seven games in the Premier League. So jumping right in, we'll be looking at the previous scores against Leicester. So in the last five games, Arsenal haven't lost against Leicester City, which is home and away, as well as within uh, Leicester's title winning season which was back in 2015-16. Um, in so the first game we'll look at in regards to the previous game Arsenal have faced Leicester will be the one that took place on the 10th of February 2015. And that was a home game. And uh, Arsenal played Leicester and we won 2-1 on the day. And the next game uh, would have been on the 26th of September. And that would have been 2015. And we were playing away at Leicester and we won 5-2 in that game. So moving on in the next game would have been on Valentine's Day in 2016 and that was at home Arsenal versus Leicester and we won 2-1 on that day. Moving on and the next one was on the 20th of August 2016. Again we, pl uh, we played away and uh, on that particular occasion we drew and then the next game we played was on the 26th of April 2017 and we took it 1-0 on the day and that was at home at the Emirates. So looking back at the last five games, I can say I do not fear playing Leicester on any given day based on those five results. However, on none of those occasions in the past five meetings have we played on the opening day. And as we know, Arsenal's opening day um, fixture history is terrible. So we'll, we'll go back... Um, Back to 2012 and 13, on the opening day, we drew against Sunderland. Uh, 2013 and 14, we lost to Aston Villa. I remember that game vividly. I think uh, Gabby Agbonglaho scored on that day and he looked like a world beater on that opening day. And I was thinking, oh my God, we're in trouble here. And... Um, Previous season, uh, well, the next season to that was the 2014-15 season. We played uh, Crystal Palace and we won that game. And then 15-16, we lost to West Ham. And that was particularly a painful defeat to myself, um, as I have family members that are associated to West Ham. And then last season, we know what happened. We lost to Liverpool. And uh, again, that sort of reinforces what I said um, in regards to us not playing Leicester on the opening day. So we'll move on away from the uh, opening day record and uh, the potential 11. So obviously I assume Mr. Wenger will play checking goal. Uh, Holding will be playing again, I would assume, due to the uh, complications we have in defence yet again on the opening day. I'm assuming Monreal will be slotting in back into, center, in, into the centre-back position. However, if we're going to be playing the 3-4-3 formation, um, we are a bit short. Uh, of one centre-back, as it is. So, Cullum Chambers, again, is a doubt due to his exploits in the summer. Mustafi, again, is another doubt due to his also, uh, also to his exploits within the summer. So, what I can see happening is uh, Wenger will play El Nenny at centre-back. I'm assuming that he anticipated this particular situation uh, during pre-season. Hence, he was prepping El Nenny to play in that position so I won't be surprised if we see El Nenny in the centre-back role. Um, obviously there is another option in the form of Perma Saka however he took a nasty nasty blow to the face uh, during the community should win which we are still riding the wave. I'm still riding the wave personally anyway. Still, ex uh, I'm still celebrating that particular win but I'm, I'm not too sure if Per Mertesacker is going to be playing. The news do not seem good based on the press conferences that took place uh, today. So, fingers crossed he will be able to start and we can have a natural back three. Not so natural because I don't consider Monreal as a centre-back, but he can play there. On the wing-backs, if we're going to be playing the three at the back, we're going to obviously have uh, Hector Bellerin in there. Uh, I think he's going to start Kolasinac this game. Based on his uh, previous performance against Chelsea, it looked absolutely fantastic, strong, powerful, scored a goal in his competitive debut as well. So I think we'll see Kolasinac starting. And uh, in the middle... 
If Elneny doesn't play uh, at the back, I would assume we'll see Shaka and Elneny as Ramsey is a doubt. And uh, up front, uh, we've got to see Lacazette, of course, uh, the marquee signing. Uh, I think we'll see Oxley chamberlain up front uh, on this particular occasion due to the fact that Danny Welbeck... Um, <laughs> He played all right. We won the game in the end, uh, but I don't think Wenger is going to start Danny Welbeck again. So I think Oxley chamberlain is going to be further up the pitch. And then we might see Theo Walcott start, even though he opted for uh, Alex Uobi in the last game. So basically moving on, uh, I'd like to see two players start together. Uh, and this will be Reese Nelson. And I'd like to see him partner Iwobi up front behind Lacazette. I think this could be the potential um, partnership we can have at Arsenal in the future. These are two lads that have been raised at Arsenal, came through the academy. They know how the team plays and what to expect from the club. So I would absolutely love to see them play up front together. Hopefully Wenger's bold enough and throw Reese Nelson in there as well as Alex Iwobi in there. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, based on our, pre on, our, on our opening day record, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose. And I wouldn't be surprised um, if he takes that particular gamble as well. So going on to the doubts. Players that may be doubtful on the day, which is tomorrow. Uh, we've got Alexis Sanchez. He's got uh, He's suffering for, apparently from abdominal pain. I'm not buying it. I'm simply not buying it. I will be making another video on this topic, but I'll come back to you guys on this one. Obviously, Koscielny is suspended. Aaron Ramsey is mentioned is a doubt. Merzit Elzil, again, is another doubt. Perma Osaka is another doubt due to the injury picked up in the Community Shield. Mustafi is lacking match fitness. And uh, Gabriel is not yet match fit, as far as I'm aware. So those are my thoughts on tomorrow's game. Please let me know what you think in regards to the topics uh, that I have discussed in this video. So just a quick recap, I'll be going back to our previous record with Leicester, our potential starting 11 on the day, as well as two players I'd like to see playing tomorrow, which is Reese Nelson as well as Alex Iwobi, partnering each other up front. I've mentioned the doubts as well, the injury doubts and our opening day record. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button on the video. Once again, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.